Would you like to tell more meaningful stories that connect with people at a deeper level? If so, then watch this next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Michael, if you want to stand out, if you truly want to touch people at a deep level, you have to go to that place that you don't want to go. Those words were spoken by my coach, Craig Valentine, back in 2011. I didn't like what he had to say, but in the years since then, I found that his wisdom to be absolutely true. The best stories, those that have the most impact, that connect at a deep level and inspire people to take action, to get through their own pain, often come from our pain. One of my other coaches recently shared this with me. He said, when I am trying to find the best stories, I follow the pain. What does that mean? Well, here's an example. You've heard me talk in previous videos about an experience I had back in 1994 where my job was threatened because I wasn't giving very good presentations in my financial planning practice. When I sat down and started to track and trace why I had reached that point, why I was so insecure, why I was nervous and anxious and just didn't feel confident, I traced it all the way back to an incident in first grade. If you've seen my other tips, you've heard me talk about standing on my desk and being humiliated during uh, nap time one day. That is what we mean by follow the pain. I was able to track it all the way back and I saw how that incident put a subconscious message in me that standing in front of other people is a bad experience. Don't do it because it'll be humiliating, scary, it'll be an awful uh, outcome for you. If you truly want to get through all those surface niceties and tell stories that are meaningful and have that lasting impact on people and ultimately inspire them to make change, you've got to follow this path. You've got to follow the pain. It's not fun, I will tell you. But with time, like the, the incident in first grade was 50 years ago. I don't have an emotional reaction to that. My boss's office, 25 years ago. To me, I look back with those and I appreciate what they do for me now. But follow that pain. How did you get to where you are? That's what will connect you with audiences and leave that lasting impression. As a side note, I'd like to thank my dog, Skye, for adding her comments in the background today. I'll try to keep those to a minimum in future videos. Talk with you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.